Hi, I'm Chef Stacy Hawkins for HVNN and welcome to SHTV, the place to be to make a better meal and live a better life. This week we're talking about snacks and in particular back to school snacks. There's no better time to get ready for a little after school snacking whether at home or at school. Today I'm going to share with you three great simple easy and healthy recipes to get your back to schooler fueled up and ready to go. First and foremost, it's important to have your pantry, fridge, and freezer stocked and ready to go with great things like chopped up vegetables, chopped up fruits, and things that are easy to grab and go. When they're ready, they're gonna eat them, and so will you. It doesn't have to be difficult to get things ready to go. You can buy green beans that are already trimmed, bite-sized baby carrots and celery hearts that all you have to do is cut or just rip them off and scoop and away you go. But if you do have to prep, it can be as simple as one, two, three with some great tools like my favorite tool this week, this apple corer peeler. Simply place it over your apple, push down, and one, two, three, it's cored and you've got instant apple wedges ready to go. To go along with these great chopped items, you should also have some yummy things on hand to dip them in, like this delicious yogurt dip that I made with our fall harvest pie spice. Tastes like an apple pie. Or maybe you wanna get some hummus. I made this homemade using our garlic gusto seasoning, but you can buy that store-bought as well. Also, try things with cottage cheese or yogurt or things that have some really great high protein in them. Which brings me to my next tip. If you have a kid who's after school going to sports and they need that afternoon pick-me-up, try this great recipe chock full of protein that'll be perfect just for them. I love this recipe because it's so simple and it's no bake. The kids can make it or you can make them ahead of time. It all starts with oats, whole oats I use. I'm also using some ground flax seed. I'm also going to add some nuts, almonds in this case. I also want to put in some chocolate chips for some fun, but you can substitute it up. Put in some butterscotch chips or white chocolate chips or whatever you like. And it's all going to be bound together with nut butter. In this case, I'm using peanut butter, but you can certainly substitute whatever else you would like. For a little liquid, put in about two tablespoons of vanilla. And last but not least, for some delicious flavor, some of the sinful cinnamon seasoning. I simply put this in the bowl and incorporate it all together. And again, substitute it up, put in your family favorites. All right, this is the perfect consistency. And now all you need to do is take these little by little and roll them into balls. And when you're done, you have these perfect protein poppers, chuck full of flavor and energy for your after school snack. And there you have it. These protein poppers can be put in a nap sack and enjoyed by your athlete to be fueled up all afternoon long. Are you looking for more ideas or recipes? Click on the link below right here at hvnn.com to download the recipes, worksheets, and much more. I'm Stacy Hawkins for hvnn.com. Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of SHTV and we'll catch you next time.